Mr. Speaker, I rise to join our friends in Israel and in the Jewish communities around the world in recognizing Israel's Holocaust Remembrance Day. President Trump took the unprecedented step of proclaiming this week Holocaust Remembrance Week in solidarity with one of our strongest allies and the entire Jewish community. With the recent rise in anti-Semitic rhetoric amongst some, even in this House, it's important that we remember just how horrific and dangerous these ideas truly are. More than six million Jewish people died at the hands of the Nazis during the Holocaust. Who survived will never be able to escape the horrors of their experience. They emerged into a world that has changed them forever. But the world has changed since then, too. No longer is that sort of hatred and bigotry to be accepted. That's what we must do to affirm on this National Day of Prayer, via prayer, via our actions, for Jewish people as well as Christians being massacred around the world. I thank the President for once again reaffirming America's commitment to supporting Israel and the Jewish people. This week, today, and always, we are with you.